movie I would like to talk about today is Super Troopers 2. Now, we all remember Super Troopers 1. It was the hilarious cult comedy from back in 2001. It feels so long ago. I mean, 15 years ago, it's like, wow. That, wow, yeah, 2001. At this point, that was half of my life ago. Half. Half my life. That's a long Put time. The, so, add up the numbers, you'll figure out Brian's age. Yep. Um, so the the film just started. I mean, uh, sorry, blah. The the movie just started filming, and we've been getting some cast photos and stuff like that. And so the whole group is back together. The original group from Super Troopers One. Now this is the blo broken lizard comedy troupe. If you don't know who that was, um, I believe they started as stand up comedians and like, but then they transferred over to movies or something. I don't know. Well, that, that happens with a lot of. Uh, I'm just guessing. Well, really right I'm there. not going to say that happens with a lot of comedians, but a lot of comedy stuff on tv and movies the guy started out as stand-up comedians i yeah. guess that's how you get your in for a comedy and which makes sense you know, start which start yeah standing. exactly and so broken lizard has had a lot of movies um really the only two good ones that i think now i could be missing one or two here or there but it was super troopers and beer fest were their two really good ones nice. they had a couple other ones like club dread and something else and slam and salmon which was a restaurant comedy and that was back in 2010, and that might be the reason they haven't done a movie since 2010. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't, a little bit. I don't remember any of those other than Super Troopers. I okay, don't know well. if I've heard of any of them. Other than Super <laughs> well, Troopers. Beer Fest. Beer Fest was pretty big, too. You, you had to have heard about Beer Fest. I, I, maybe I did, but kind of just glossed over it because it sounds pretty generic. Yes, yeah, but it's, fun. Like it's it. really it actually was really good. Those the group of guys did a really good job with Beer Fest. So that, that was pretty entertaining. Um, but so what happened was the guys from Broken Lizard said, hey, Fox, 20th Century Fox, I believe, was the, the publisher or production company for Super Troopers one and a lot of the Broken Lizard they, things. I, they they were said, at least a distributor. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, at least a distributor. And they said, hey, guys, um, we want to make Super Troopers 2. And Fox is like, no, we don't think anybody wants to watch it. <laughs> and so the guys at Broken Lizard said, well, we'll prove to you that people want to watch it. And they started an Indiegogo account. And they raised $4.5 million. Uh, I don't know exactly the time span Which, that it took them to get there. I believe it's slightly larger. Song. It's at least larger than what, um, what Fox paid for the first time around for the first one granted that was 15 16 years ago now but no they put the I, I bet you they put more than four and a half million dollars in that no I, I saw it today or i they may have put more money like more money may have gone into it but what fox put up for the the distribution right so the money that mm -hmm. came from fox was something like it was just under four million Okay, so okay, that that makes sense then. So this was the like, okay, we're just trying to show you that fans are interested. Now, I am excited to see a Super Troopers 2. I did really enjoy the first one, but a couple questions come up. Number one is a 15 year gap way too long to introduce a new movie. Now, if you were talking about maybe a Star Wars or something like that, where you can kind of explain away a time gap relatively easily, it's not that bad, but these guys are going to be coming back, and they're going to be gray. And I guess it wouldn't be the worst thing to say, oh, we're picking up 15 years later. But I don't know. It, it's going to kind of change the dynamic of things. What was funny back mm -hmm. then, it's still pretty funny now. Are they going to be able to recreate the magic and still have people be a attracted to it? Yeah, especially with a comedy. Um, there, There's a lot of you know, a lot of comedic timing and a lot of jokes do often revolve around things that are currently funny. Are these guys still funny? They could be. Um, but I, I'm trying to think of some movies, like comedies, that have had such a big gap. The first one that comes to mind was the Blues Brothers sequel. But yeah, and the, the that Blues was Brothers 2000 good. was absolutely horrendous. Yeah. So that uh, was The other ones I can think of are like the vacation movies, Vegas Vacation, European Vacation, and those just seem to get progressively The National worse. Lampoon ones? Yeah. yeah, so they didn't have that big of a gap, did they? Well, between Vegas and I think the first one, they didn't. Ha they had several different movies of the series, but I did think there was like a ten to fifteen year gap oh, okay. in between. But yeah, like you're saying, like they they weren't they weren't great. I like I I they they had their moments, some of them, but I wouldn't go watch them other than they happen to be on TV and I have nothing. Yeah, else and to I do. probably wouldn't even watch them then because cable. <laughs> there's plenty of other things on, so. Yes. Yeah, yeah I, I just don't know if, if that time gap is going to be good for this movie. I think it'll be more to the detriment of the movie mm -hmm. to have such a large gap in between movies. Yeah, and like again, closest. we might be, be beyond the end of 
Broken Lizard's real original, you know, f- truly original funny stuff. Mm. Uh, and that just happens. I mean, you're creative. You have your moments. You have your muses. You have the things that set you off. And it just doesn't go forever. Uh, musicians rarely do they last, you know, the 20, 30 years, you know. They, mm. they just run out. They, they Especially they if they, they don't have the everything still flowing like they they kind of lose touch with what's going on because they haven't done a movie they haven't done that many movies and they haven't done a big movie you were saying in like five years which yeah. isn't too which long, was but... not a good movie back five years ago mm. so that uh, that is even more disconcerting so yeah and like the closest am i gonna see this in theaters yeah the closest oh, comparison i can think to this actually would be uh the the gap between clerks and clerks too but yeah, and Clerks in, 2 was not as good as Clerks. It wasn't, but it had... Well, some people really like Clerks 2, actually. Mm. But either way, that was, though, still a situation where, um, like, like, Kevin Smith was still doing stuff. Yeah. Um, that company was still doing stuff. They had other movies vaguely related in the, the View Askew universe. They had lots of movies in between there, that including some big movies in between Well, there. Jane Silent and Bob were in it. It's part of that canon. Yeah, James exactly. Bob. So there was... There was work. There wasn't a there wasn't a direct sequel between that time, but there was stuff that they were doing between that time that they had shown, um, and, and that that, that got good. With. That were pretty successful and decent movies. Uh, I want to say Dogma was pretty successful. Jay and Silent mm-hmm. Bob Strike Back. That was a big movie or relatively big. Um, so yeah, you're right. They had more success in between the, the movies, yeah. and and it just seems like almost the opposite. Not. Not quite the opposite, but since Beer Fest has come out, like I said, it's everything's been downhill from there for Broken Lizard. But we'll see what happens. Um, but let us know what you think. Are you excited to see Super Troopers 2, or do you think 1 was enough? Hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Words From My Face on Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us. And, of course, there is WordsFromMyFace.com. I don't know. If you want to see full episodes and stuff like that, like all of our in-between banter, that actually is relatively entertaining, I think. Or you can decide for yourself, but you'll have to go see it. It, it, it entertains <laughs> me, so yeah, you can decide for yourself. But you can go to wordsfromyface.com. we got our full episodes up there. So...